So this is really wonderfully weird. They closed the Gatwick Airport because of drones, so there might not be any use for me going there. Should I try to get a hotel room? Today's episode. How do you do winter? Welcome. Today is my last day, not full day in London. I'm going to see Caroline or change and then I'm going home. If I can. Apparently, there'll be some drones flying around Gatwick, so the plane's been delayed. But I think that was yesterday. I think everything's okay today because I tried to check out to my flight and I checked in and everything seems okay. I've had a really nice stay here in London. And uh, I'm really proud of myself. I don't know why I shouldn't be. I mean, I should. This wouldn't be such a big thing, but it is. So this is the way it's going to look. I'm going to give you a tour of my bedroom as I explain the day. I'm going to be walking with my luggage to Sharon Cross Station. It isn't that far. I will be checking my luggage in a, some sort of. Well, they have that some springs. <laughs> train stations you know you can check your luggage and then I'm going to refill my oyster for safety and then I'm going to go I don't know then I'm sort of I might go to the theatre to get my tickets and then I'm going to just go some do some walk around oh this is the bathroom Hello. and my friend Ulf has asked me to buy some anti-puffiness cream of boots something to do with the puffiness puffiness and resides. I don't have that problem. I'm puffy. People on the interwebs, it's time to get going. See you. Well, see you in the next clip. again at the Charing Cross station about to check my bags temporarily. Well, here it is, excess baggage. Stace, station concierge. So that's that. Now I'm going to the theatre to, to collect, collect the tickets and then I might be going down to the Thames. Just because. Ta -da. So here it is. Want me to show you the Thames? Well, do you? Do you? Do you want to get on the bridge and look down on Thames? I'll show you. Et voilà, London Eye and the Thames. And I'm strangely enough having a French accent. I don't know why. I'm on the other side. Hello from the other side. And here they are having a Christmas market. But I'm not going there yet. Just yet. I'm going to the National Theatre. Just for fun. Well, it turns out I was wrong. This is not it. Oh. This is not it at all. This is the South Park Centre Royal Festive Hall. There's a gift shop. No, bookstore. So that's the National Theatre and here are some second-hand books. Hmm. Hmm. Funnily enough, I've got that one. So it's time to eat something. Have you seen these pods that sort of put to that? I guess they bring the food to you. 
and you can sort of rent, I guess, this part. Look at the view. So here I am at the Christmas market, sneaking up on all the food. Oh, I feel like chips. Inside the Christmas whatever market. The place is bigger than I first thought. And look what I find. The Swedish cafe. The laughing stop. So that's meatballs, that's sausage. Sausage. That needs two dots over the O. Chef Bulla. Oh, I have thing. A couple of days ago, we were talking, when I went back in Sweden, we were talking about what do the British have for Christmas? What's their big thing? Because in Sweden, we have ham, and in the US, they have turkey. And I think I think I have found out that they have goose. I think, because they're selling goose here, and I sort of think I remember. So I'm going to have vegan goose. Ta da! Good. Mm. Now I'm gonna have some chips and call this a lunch. Now I will be eating my chips and walking on that bridge back to that side of the town. Hello from this side again. So here's an update because my expert here in London have told me that no Goose is more German than British, so they have hammer turkey. I like, I like them to have goose, but the Germans have that. Oh, oh they do have ham as well. Now I'm going into Boots to buy something that will make my friend Ulf beautiful, he thinks. little more than two hours to spend now wandering around this wondrous city. I'm using big words. How about I show you the National Gal Gallery while showing myself the National Gallery? Listening to some Happy Santa songs. So I've been walking around and I haven't found any art. Maybe I'm the wrong. This is a cafe. National Gallery and this is being constructed. Doesn't it look kind of weird? Look at all those weird angles.
So this would be me in Chinatown. So now I'm on Old Compton Street. This used to be, I don't think it is, but oh maybe it is. It used to be the gayest area in London. But I don't know. Anyway, the last time I was here, I went to Hip Chips. It's, an hip, it's a ch shop just for chips, like crisps. You did they were kind of good, and I'm glad to see that the shop is still here one, le one year later. Okay, so maybe it is a little bit gay still. So I've got an hour to the show starts, and I'm going to pop into Foyle's bookstore to not buy anything. So, just went out to the store, didn't buy anything because there were too much I wanted to buy. I can choose just one. 40 minutes till the show starts and I've been walking and walking and walking and now I'm sort of walking towards the gate. The theatre's down there, but look here. Look at that. What's behind those houses? So I got a program because I really got to read up on this because it's confusion. Confusion. Fascinating thing happened. My plan, my the, uh, my flight's been cancelled. Just cancelled. I got a text message saying, "Well, I guess I have to go to the airport anyway." <laughs> this is really wonderfully weird. They closed the Gatwick Airport because of drones, so there might not be any use for me going there. Should I try to get a hotel room? I don't know what to do. I can't get in contact with my airport. My air, uh, well, Norwegian, because it's, they don't pick up. And should I go to the airport anyway, even though there's sort of nothing there? Or should I go to the hotel and try to get a room? Because there won't be any room at the airport. Okay, so here's my plan, to go back to the hotel try to get in contact with the airport because I can't really find any information here and I'm afraid that if I go out to the airport I'm just this is weird and kind of exhilarating at the same time I'm back at Charing Cross station I'm going to be walking up Charing Cross Road to the hotel to see if they got any rooms and then I'm going to stay there for the night and go out to the airport tomorrow I'm hoping there is a room hopefully there must be someone who couldn't have come to London when they're got with St. Giles came through. I've got a room. This time a single room, a room, the room kind of room I really wanted. So I'm gonna go up to the room and then sort of big room 262. Room 262 and it's this way. I'm on the second floor. You won't believe this, but it's kind of in the same place. That's my last room. Oh. Oh. Okay, people on the internet, here I am, stranded in this 
cosy little room on the second floor. This is an adventure. Oh, so amazing. This time, this room faces the way, the other way, like towards London City. I never stayed in a room with a window that far that but way. I am on the second floor, so I see nothing. Oh, people! I just rebooked a new ticket. Uh, I'm going home. I'm planning to get on a plane at 1.10 tomorrow afternoon. Okay, it's time to go out and buy something to eat and something to drink. I think I need to be sort of economical because I don't know how long I'm going to be. Ain't life... Oh, that's the kettle. If you hear something. Ain't life weird? Exactly now I should be getting on my plane and instead I'm here eating peanuts.